Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking into um, Ronald Kevin Poiski. Forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that right. And I believe he also goes by Kevin Ronald or Ronald Kevin Martin. He was 5'8", 145 pounds. He went missing from Seattle, Washington. It says July 28th, 1989, age 25. I don't think there's any other information other than he was last seen on that date. Brown hair, blue eyes, nine inch scar on abdomen, round burn on right hand, and that's it. And there's some photos though at least. And here's one photo. And here's another photo. And I don't understand how he just went missing. So, and here's a John Doe photo. I don't know if that could be him or not. But this is January 1989, and he didn't go missing until July. And I don't know when he was reported missing, so I don't know if this could be him. But this person was in Tillamook County, Oregon. And the body was found January 26, 1989. So I don't know if that could be him. Probably not, unless they reported him missing a long time after, like years after, and just picked a date but this person was found on a steep section of a hillside just under a large ledge near the base of Nikini Mountain from initial appearances it is believed that the, the individual fell from a viewpoint located on Highway 101 which runs north and south across the face of Nikini I hope I'm pronouncing that right or Nikini all parts recovered, brown hair, hazel eyes, so I don't know if that could be him at all, but I'm putting it in here anyway. I noticed this one from somebody else having a size 10 shoe, and I was like, huh, so let's see. Uh, what else do we have? We have this John Doe, and there's other John Doe's. These are, I just grabbed a couple. Um, this one's Portland, Oregon, 1989, months prior. 5'8", 160 pounds. Eye color unknown. So, and I don't, I think there's some kind of typo about the blue denim jeans. 23 inch waist 30 inch length i don't think i've ever seen a 23 inch waist on the blue denim jeans i've seen 29s and 30s so i don't know if that's a typo or what maybe not maybe they do exist okay then we have is this the same one no it's a different one Talks about tattoos and things like that. So, and there's other John Does. I just grabbed a couple, put them in here. So, I don't know if any of them could be him. I have no idea what happened to him or where he went missing. I, I feel like maybe some of these people were hitchhiking, and you know, because they had. I think they had a couple of truck drivers that were serial killers, or at least one of them. And then they had the one guy that was a salesman that was traveling. And so, you know, I don't know. There's not any information. So, what, you know, maybe you know him. Maybe you knew him. Maybe you heard it through the grapevine. Maybe you know what happened to him. Maybe you told authorities years ago, but they don't have the information anymore. And they didn't have proof of it back then. Maybe you could tell the authorities now in case they don't have the notes of it. Um, maybe you knew him or have some sort of information you could give them to the authorities. And if you do, you should contact the authorities and let them know. I don't think this email is any good anymore, but it might be. I don't know when they last updated it. But you can contact authorities if you have any information, whether you think it's hearsay, you heard it when somebody was drinking, you heard it through the grapevine, whatever information you have, just give it to authorities and let them know to help them solve the case for this young man if you know anything at all.
because you just never know if it's going to help or not. And anyway, please feel free to leave comments. Don't forget to pray for his family and have a great day. Bye-bye.